What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to set myself a little bit of a challenge. I want to see how quickly I can prepare 3,000 calories. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because two of the biggest issues which always crop up when it comes to meal prep and food is cost and the time it takes to actually prep it. Now I feel like I've already dealt with the cost. I did a previous video on budget meal prep. Go and check that out if you haven't already seen it. This one, let's see how fast we can meal prep 3,000 calories. I've done 3,000 calories, just a random number, no reason in particular. Most of you guys won't even need to be eating 3,000 calories, so probably won't even take you that long. But anyway, let's go. All right, first things first, turn the kettle on, and then turn all the stoves on, the hobs on, whatever they're called. This is an electric one, so uh, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It might take a little bit longer. Bam! Right, so next thing for me to do Cut the turkey. I'm having turkey today because I've been having chicken for, well, I've been having a lot of it recently. So each 400 grams, four fillets. I'm gonna use about, let's just use all of them, 400 grams, yeah? Quick math. Cut them up into small pieces. The smaller the better, because they will cook quicker. And we're trying to do this as quickly as possible, so that's going to be quite a key element in this setup. Again! Oh my god, we're one minute in. One minute in. Obviously, I'm not like taking the piss and trying to do this ultra fast, but I am, you know, I'm, I'm not doing it slow, put it that way. Yep. Yeah. Right, so. That's done. All of those pots and pans are looking pretty hot. So, using one calorie spray, 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 um, because it's one calorie. Why not? Don't want to fill myself full of olive oil. There we go. Water's boiled. Gonna put the majority. Oh my god! Gonna put the majority in that pan still intact. A little bit in here. Four, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna put in there. Um, one second, one second. I'm gonna do one hand because the other one is uh, dirty. Turkey's in. Um, what was I gonna say? You know, it's quite hard to do this and uh, talk at the same time. I don't usually talk and cook. I usually cook and listen. That is the way I roll. Okay, there we go. Water's boiling. First things first, let us weigh out the rice. 120 grams is what we're going for today. Come on. Oh, 120.1. Outrageous. So that's that. Get this out of the way. Next thing I'm going to do I'm gonna multitask here. I'm going to multitask. Okay, this, this sweet chili spelt, right? I've got the rice, I don't wanna have more rice. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to make sweet potatoes because that would probably be about half an hour in the oven, which is just not, it's not gonna be ideal for this video. So this thing, 500 calories. Shout out to Jamie Oliver, you actually done something useful. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Whilst that rice is boiling, just gotta, Stir it a little bit so it doesn't stick to the uh, the pan. You don't want any stickage. The rice. Let's mix this about. Good. What was I doing? Yeah. So I'm going to multitask with the uh, whilst the rice is creating excessive amounts of steam. I'm going to steam my vegetables. I like to steam them. I feel it's a it's a pretty good way to get them. Cook. Um, don't really weigh out my veg to be honest. I kind of know by eye, I'd probably say this is anywhere between 150 and 200. Please don't overflow. Uh, where's the lid? Where is the lid? This is this is this is an issue. I'm struggling. Oh, there we go. There we go. Steam, please. 
Um, so, right, obviously, most important thing you need to do with any kind of protein that is outrageously plain is to spice it up. So I'm using like loads of different seasonings here. All completely random. Probably don't go together at all, but got some Italian seasoning, peri peri seasoning, some barbecue seasoning. You know, just oh, some garlic, garlic granules as well. Give that a bit of a shake. So that's it's all. It's all good. It's all good. Next thing for me to do is the eggs. I'm gonna make an omelette. Four eggs. Do you know what? I could eat eggs all day. Not all day, but every day. I just don't get bored of them. I just feel like when I wake up in the morning, that is exactly what I want to eat. Um, I know some people, a lot of people I work with, they get bored of having the same breakfast every day. Fair enough, a lot of people do. But for me, I could just eat them every day. And for those people who think, oh my God, what about your cholesterol? Um, do your research on cholesterol because they're not necessarily linked. Right, again, a little bit boring if you just have the eggs on their own. I don't absolutely why, I don't know how I discovered this, but this Thai little seasoning, when you sprinkle it over the omelette, it comes out really unique, definitely unique. It's just got a little kick to it. More garlic. You do have to watch out a little bit for these uh, seasonings and stuff because some of them are I've got a lot of salt in, sodium in. A lot of these actually don't. I've gone for the ones with low sodium because I'm crafty like that. Um, but yeah, you just need to watch out for that. I'm gonna flip the turkey a little bit because we need it all cooked evenly. Don't want any pink bits. Don't want any pink bits, do we now? Right. So I've done that. Now, everything is it's cooking nicely. The veg doesn't actually need to be done for that long, to be honest. You only need like a couple of minutes and it's good to go. So whilst I... You know what, that actually looks done. That was quick. Just gonna stir the rice again. The rice is absolutely kicking off at the moment. Don't need that. Oatmeal, that is the next one. Oatmeal, we are going to have 100 grams, so give me the box of happiness here. I'm not going to cook the, uh, the oatmeal in this case, I'm going to have it cold. I'm going to prepare it and then I'm just going to leave it in the fridge overnight because it actually absorbs all the almond milk and it actually turns out to be quite good. So almond milk, I have the sweetened one because it tastes a little bit nicer, I know it's a little bit naughty. Should have the unflavoured one but, unflavoured and sweetened I mean, but what are you going to do? So there we go, 100 grams of oatmeal, let's put it in there. Almond milk, probably anywhere between 300 to 400 milliliters. And then obviously that on its own is rather bland. So, uh, honey, where are you, honey? A tablespoon of this, just gets the calories up as well because we are eating quite a lot today. 3,000 big boys. Honey is stuck to the spoon. I need. <coughs> you don't need to do that. Um, and then frozen berries. I don't weigh it out again because 100 grams of these frozen berries is literally 50 calories. So I'm just gonna just like got banana, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry. These are just raspberries because they're absolutely unbelievable. So there we go, doesn't matter to go overboard with that. It looks a bit runny now, but trust me, it's gonna, the oats are gonna absorb all of that almond milk and it's actually gonna be a lot thicker. Um, one little final touch to it. Where are you? The sweet, ground sweet cinnamon. Actually works out to be really good. Sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Seal it up with a lid. And there we go. Put that in the fridge later on. Let's just use that lid and I'm going to put the lid on the omelette because that way it cooks both sides 
I'm really trying to get it so that the uh, the yolk is runny. If the yolk is runny, then we've really we've really nailed it. I don't like a hard, dry ass yolk. Definitely better to cut all the turkey up as fine as you can because there will be no. It's pretty tough. Uh, you can't cut it up with this little blunt ass spatula. So that's cooking good. Chili spelt, spilt put up there. The spelt is also looking good. Things which don't need to be prepared. I have a banana here. I have a naked bar cashew cookie, that's about 100 calories, and an apple. And also the nuts, I need to weigh them out. I'm gonna have 50, uh, 50 grams worth of mixed nuts. 57, you know. Can't be going overboard with the nuts, mate. Otherwise you're gonna get fat. There we go, put them in a little pouch. Happy little pouch for the nuts, which I could snack on at any point in the day if I wanted to. Uh, uh, Alright, what is next? Okay, yeah. Protein, post-workout shake. Easy to prepare. We're going to have one scoop. Shout out to EHP Labs. If you want to use my discount code, use Mike 10 before you purchase. Uh, cookies and cream, isopets. Jesus Christ, what an unbelievable flavour. That is that prepared. What time are we on? 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Jesus! Right, let's get rid of this. What is the rice? You've always got to know what the rice, actually the rice is fine, wicked. Wicked, I didn't realize it was done so soon. So we're gonna drain the rice out. Right. You just sit there, my friend. You sit there, my friend. This is done. Omelette is. Oh. No, it's not done. Definitely not done. I'm just going to flip the turkey bits over. I just want to make sure it's all fully cooked. I don't know if you can get some. I don't think you can get salmon out with turkey, but I wouldn't want to eat uncooked turkey. If you know what I mean. Right. Ooh, it's getting warm. It's getting warm in here. So, sweet chili spelt. That's done. I don't actually own a microwave. If you wanted to, you could put it in a microwave when you like get to work or wherever you're working from. If you know what I mean. But I just, I don't. Yep, I don't own one, so I'm gonna put it in the pan. There, fa easy 500 calories, and it's better than just having like rice all the time. Rice does get outrageously boring. I'm gonna get a handful of the vegetables, put it in here, and then we just wait for the uh, the turkey to be on. I'm gonna put rice in this one. Omelette is done. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. The yolk is definitely still runny. I'm definitely confident that it's still runny. One little thing that spices it up is this. I can't waste time on the focus, sorry. I'll put it in the description. A little, a little drizzle of that really makes all the difference. So, to put this one, I'm just gonna fold it, flap it. You could reheat this if you wanted to, but you know, I'm the type of guy that actually, I don't mind eating cold food. I really don't mind. Oh, one thing we've got. Let's just whack a few tomatoes in here. Again, tomatoes are like zero calories, so... Well, they're not zero calories, but... You know what I mean? It's not really worth tracking. Um, unless you are mental. We've got beetroot here. Half a pack, around 100 grams, because a pack is 200 grams. That's right. I'm going to whack the beetroot into that one. Done. Turkey. You're done. Is it done? It's definitely done. Put that in here. Half of it in there. The rest in there. All we need is the rice. 120 grams of rice. Whack that in. Oh my God, if I spilled it, it would ruin the entire video. 
so warm right now. Right, that's done. I'm gonna leave the lid off of it actually. There we have it, there we have it my friends. I think we are actually all done. Nothing left. Let me stop the timer right there. 13 minutes, 59 seconds. So basically, 14 minutes. I just prepared 3,000 calories in 14 minutes. Now obviously, uh, I'm gonna have to clean up, um, but let's not count that. And I'm also gonna actually need, I'm gonna need to buy the food in the first place, but we won't count that as well. But you know what? That wasn't too hard, I don't think. It's definitely doable. So there we have it, around about 3,000 calories all prepped. We've got four egg omelette with the tomatoes. We've got the mixed nuts, 50 grams worth, banana, apple, naked bar, around 100 calories. 100 grams worth of oatmeal with the frozen berries, the honey, and the almond milk. We have around about 200 grams worth of turkey breast with the vegetables and the Jamie Oliver's bag of goodness. We've got 120 grams of rice here. 120 grams was the dry weight. Some beetroot, 200 grams of turkey, and obviously the vegetables, and then we've got like a scoop of protein here. If you're feeling particularly cheeky, and that is only if you're feeling cheeky, you can whack a bit of uh, hot sauce onto the plain rice because uh, plain rice is pretty plain. So when I typically meal prep, it tends to be the night before so that I have all the days worth of food and then I'll meal prep again the next evening. I just like to do it that way. It just seems less daunting. I could just blast through it in 14 minutes. Whereas if I'm prepping a full week in advance, it just seems so daunting and so big of a task. A lot of the time I'll find excuses not to do it. So that's just my two cents on the topic. Big shout out to One Athletic for all the fresh garments. You can go on their website and use code MIKE20 to get 20% off anything you want to purchase. And big news, I've just released a brand new load of training programs, both males and females, which is all app-based. So you download the app, you have access to all the programs, and trust me, it's cool. So go on the website, link below, check it out, and hopefully you will enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in a